<laughs> well, g'day van fam. And welcome back to another episode. This week, <coughs> I swallowed a fight. <laughs> This week, we're leaving this fly-infested <laughs> camp behind. We've just said goodbye to the Vauxhalls. They've been in exploring Kanjini while we've been doing work in school. So we've got some hot tips from them so we can maximize our explore days. So we're gonna make our way into the eco camp, which is a lot closer to all of the gorges. And hopefully the fly situation <laughs> is not so bad there. Now, I've also been told that the road into the eco camp is not very nice. It's quite rough and I've learned from, um, yes, from my we've mistakes. Learned our lesson. We're gonna <laughs> I won't be lazy. I'm gonna <laughs> drop those tire pressures and then we're gonna get on the road. So we're staying at the Karangini Eco Retreat. It is $40 a night for up to six people per site, which is amazing. There is a bar, a restaurant. There's also showers as well, which is great because Brett did go into Tom Price to get more water for us, but there is no water fill points here in Karangini. Did you say showers? I did say showers. <laughs> That's a good thing. How long has it been? Two days? Two days, Woo. it's fine. I had a wet wipe shower last night and the night before, it's fine. All right, let's get set up. All right, I'm just gonna whip up a quick little lunch for us because we've got some exploring to do. All righty. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Yay. This Are we this excited? Is new. This is new. Yours is the top one, Owen. And there's one with tomato sauce for Thank you. you. Yeah, that's right. This is new. One of the best things about hanging out with another family is getting to see what they eat. So we watched the Bottrells make hot dogs using uh, these brioche buns. And the advantage of these brioche buns is they last for ages. They don't go off really quickly like bread does, hey? Yeah, so it's epic for us. You know what else is really good, sweetheart? What? Outside with no flies. Yay, I forgot <laughs> oh about <God>. that. <laughs> Those... There's still lots of red dirt. And yeah, it's still plenty of red dirt, but those flies were absolutely horrendous. That's like the worst fly experience we've ever had. Yeah. We're just going to quickly smash some lunch and then we're going to go out and explore. All right, we are in the car. Where are we heading? Knox Gorge. And what do we know about this one? Um, it's got a lot of slippery rocks. Yeah, it's the most difficult walk <laughs> so far, according to the Bottrells. So, honey. You know how we had like the best walking award for the kids? <laughs> I had an idea for you. <laughs> if you don't hurt yourself, you can have a wagon wheel when we get home. Oh, how does that sound? Wheel. That sounds amazing. Hey Mel, I bet you're quite happy that the lookout is closed. <laughs> My kind of lookout. That make you happy? You don't have to go out there. So this is Knox Gorge. It looks like we're going to be climbing from up here and down into this. Wow, it looks impressive. All right, Knox Gorge, two kilometers, three hour return, class five walk. Everybody happy for a class yeah. five walk? Yeah. Yes. Let's get going. Yeah, yeah. Have a look at this view. Oh my God. That is spectacular. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, remember the wagon wheel. Think of the wagon wheel. Take your time. You can do it without hurting yourself. It's uh, quite the treacherous little descent down into here across this real shaly sort of rock and slippery rock. Like none of it's very well fixed. Look at this. Oh, move super easy as we descend down into the gorge. 
How are we traveling? <laughs> this, is, this is a little scary for me because you're like on a cliff edge. <laughs> it's very steep descent, isn't it? I'm sweating through my shirt. Looks like we've completed the descent. We are now down in the gorge. What was your issues? The problem with touching the rocks as you're climbing down? Your yeah, hands get, get red. Yeah. Have a look at, have a look at Owen's hands. Now look at Owen's face. <laughs> <laughs> we have red everywhere from being in here in Karajini. We've got red all through the caravan, all over the floor, all over the walls. Just everything you touch, like you try and make sure you're like not covered in red when you go inside, but then you look and you're like, oh, there's handprints and it's just... You should see, everything. you should see the dirt that comes off our feet. <laughs> it's feral. This is incredible. This landscape, I feel like this is... Just magical. This is what the dinosaurs must have been roaming around in. It just feels prehistoric, doesn't it? Kids are counting the layers <laughs> in the rocks, eh? Yeah. Have you had a nice snack? Yeah, I have. Are you ready to uh, Traverse make your way back. back? Traverse back in one piece. S see if you can earn yourself a wagon wheel. Yeah, I'm gonna try. We'll see you back home if Mel's earned a wagon wheel, we'll let you know. <laughs> Is that all I get from my you effort go. today? What's your constellation prize? <laughs> constellation. One half a wagon wheel. <laughs> one half a wagon wheel. What you doing? I'm taping up my finger because it's sore. I don't know what I did. I think I bruised it, so I don't think it's broken or anything. It's just sore, so I think i tape it up for the night. Hopefully it's fine again for tomorrow. Well, good morning. We're all going to have a nice, big, healthy breakfast. There's a wrap for you, bacon for them. Good morning, guys. We're pretty excited. Today, we're going to be going out and doing a couple of the big and famous walks here at Karajini. What are we taking on, though? We're taking on... Handrail Pool and Kermit's Pool, I think it is. So there'll be some swimming. Kayla's mm -hmm. looking rather suave there. <laughs> So I thought we should all be well and truly fed and uh, energized for these exciting hikes that we're doing today. Alrighty, we have made it. We are off to go and do the most exciting walk here in Karajini. You pumped kids? Yeah! I can't wait. <laughs> Got your swimmers on, you ready to get wet? You excited, yes, darling? Yes. yes. Not gonna fall over today. Show we up the ante. Up the ante, up we were, the ante. We were talking in the car on the way in. <laughs> if you don't fall over and hurt yourself, we can go to the pub for happy hour. Yay, I like that one. You can have a glass of wine. What happens if I do? I can go to the pub and have a wine. <laughs> No, in all, in all seriousness, this is pretty dangerous. We actually just got off the phone to Jack from Jack and Megan and he told me that just the other day someone he knows was doing um, Kermit's pool and they fell over and hurt themselves really badly and put an end to their trip. So we do need to be very careful, take our time and I'm surely not wishing you to hurt yourself, <laughs> yeah, Unco, but just be careful for me. Okay, I will. And get that wine at the end of the day. Yep, yeah, that sounds good, like a good plan. All right, so... Our plan, follow the Waino Gorge, Waino Gorge through the class four walk. Then we're gonna go and do handrail pull. Then we're gonna come back. We'll follow this little pink number in here, coming in around here and do Kermit's pull and then come on back and then we're done. And hopefully Mel doesn't hurt herself. Yay. So we'll, show, we'll share this walk with you in our uh, signature way. We'll see when we get there.
We're about halfway through our walk. We've reached the part where we're going to get wet heading into handrail pool. We'll need both hands. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to put the good camera away and in the bag. And we're going to pop on some reef shoes and we're going to continue on the journey. Oh, this looks pretty wicked, doesn't it? Do you want to go first, Caleb? Yes, please. Yes, please. Can I go now? Yeah, go, Owen. Don't <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Are you serious? Does does this stuff actually exist? I know, this is insane. That's it's fantastic. It's incredible. It's real. <laughs> this is like something out of a bloody movie. You wouldn't think something like this exists. This looks so cool. Who's swimming in here? Tadpole! The tadpole swimming in there. <laughs> We've reached the handrail. It's so cool. Wow. That's impressive. Kids, that sign says keep both hands on the handrail at all times. Like this? And like this? I trust you. To be honest, if there's anyone we need to talk to, it's you. There's no question about me holding on, it's just falling off. Both hands on the handrail at all times. Arms weak, legs heavy. <laughs> There's vomit on a sweater. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Zero fear. You look like a natural honey. You look so comfortable. Look like you go rock climbing all the time. <laughs> hey, good job. Thanks your fears. Mm, proud of you. Who's swimming? Me! I said it first. How long are you going to swim for? Forever. Forever. I'm pretty sure it's freezing. You swimming, Mom? I'm going to go swimming that way. So we're all swimming. All right. Come in. All right. In we go. <laughs> this is your ice bath. <laughs> ouch, 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 ouch. I, my <laughs> I just like surfed down that rock. <laughs> oh yeah. You kids are doing amazing not screaming about how cold it is. My body's warm. Oh, sun. <laughs> yeah, so your back's warm and your um <laughs> your feet are like ice. Okay, we need to do this quick everyone, because it's nibby. It's what? It's cold? Just think warm thoughts. You're sitting by a fire. Be careful everyone, it's very slippery. Come here bud, I'll help you up. <laughs> Your hands feel like ice. Oh, 
Signing on bums is the best choice, kid. Oh, are you okay? No, I was just sitting on my bum. No, you fell, buddy. Now, if you were up higher and you fell, then that's it. This is why we keep trying to tell you to take your time. Maybe you should let Dad go in front so I can help you. Are you done? Pulling the pin? Pulling the pin? Psh. If you stay here and sunbake and we'll make it to the end. Don't go anywhere from here, okay? I need some help. Kaylee, spider walking. Well, I mean, from that height, she's not going to fall and hurt herself. You can't even breaststroke, you've got a doggy paddle. If you go wide, you'll hit the edges. Are you? Yeah. I mean, they hurt going in, but they're really amazing. It's supposed to be amazing for your blood flow. Yeah. Help recover from all this hiking. <laughs> Looks like there's a sign down the end there. That might be the end of the line. pick up Owen on the way past because he decided it was too cold. We're only halfway through, we've still got another awesome hike to do. All right, we just backtracked our way back to the car. <laughs> we did. Halfway through our hiking and Mel is so far unscathed. Yay! <laughs> Owen sadly has taken two tumbles though. Yeah. No, do I haven't hurt myself. <laughs> You've got a sca scraped up knee. No, so that, I would, no. I would say that, that you, did, you did hurt yourself. Thank you, buddy. Thank yeah. you, mate. I'd say you did hurt yourself a little bit. Yeah. All right, so Hancock Gorge leading to Kermit's Pool. Kermit's One and a half pool. kilometers, grade five, class five, the whole way. Excited. Let's go do it. <laughs> All right, down we go. Walk backwards, kids. Turn around, Owen. Turn around, Owen. That's it, two hands. Off you go, Kermit. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, this isn't very at all. Yeah. Down you go, kiddo. I just don't want to kick him in the head. In, in a Are you sure? Well, sometimes I do want to, but not really. After you, Mum. There's some weird choice words I like to use right now. Did she say I'm sure his head wouldn't hurt my foot? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just some brother sisterly love going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Having fun, Mel? No, I'm not. Look up. Show us your happy face. That was a. There you go, darling. I think that's the end of the stairs. How about how about you just focus on where you're walking? <laughs> what do you mean, go? <laughs> Got your reef shoes on, dear. What do you think of mine? Do I need an upgrade? I think we <laughs> might need to find some civilization <laughs> in the next six months and get you some shoes. <laughs> They've definitely been uh, stitched up. Probably not to Geraldton, I reckon. Stitched up and fixed up many times because there's just there's just no shops around anywhere. Very well. Very so well. just live with what you got, don't you? Yep. Budget travel. Yo, go! That one's already started. How's the water temperature, everyone? Uh, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Not cold. No, it's not. How cool is just? 
a hike that involves doing this. This is just the coolest thing ever. So we got a couple of choices. We can go through the water, which is what I'm gonna do because I'm holding the camera. And it looks like the rest of you are really well. <laughs> you really gonna tempt, are you really gonna tempt fate? I just did it from the <laughs> I'm sorry, darling. It looks like you won't be getting that <laughs> little beverage at happy hour tonight. <laughs> Are you okay? You're not okay? What have you hit? I just, I just banged my shoulder. Just your shoulder? And my ass. And my leg. And my face. Ay, ay, ay. And this is why we have the camera on now. <laughs> I love how my children just laugh at yeah, me. Yeah, I like how caring you were, mate. You thought it was hilarious that mum could have broken a leg. <sighs> Are you okay? No. Hey? Yes. You're gonna be able to push on? Yeah, it just hurts. Just don't tempt fate. You could have just come down here with me. All right. We're moving on. We have a new challenge. Are you excited for this one, Nolan? Yes, me too. I got <laughs> You kids have got to sit on your butt and slide down and I'll film you. Alright, go on. <laughs> Are you going to slide now? Do you think that's safest? Okay. All right, lead on, Kaylee. Oh, I'm ready. 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 I like the way that you're taking it nice and slow and steady now, darling. I've already myself. Once bitten, twice shy, <laughs> hey? <laughs> Alright, we've reached the pool at the end of Waino Gorge. It's Kermit's pool. In you get, kids, have a swim. You going in first, darling? You wearing your shirt? No, I'm not. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> you coming in, Owen? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Swim to the end and <laughs> say so we made it to the end of Kermit. Well, look at the colour of the water. Good. Hey, oh, Careful Mel, this will be slippery. <laughs> Would you like to go further? Yeah, there we go everyone, we made it to the end of Kermit's pool. <laughs> High five, hazard mum. <laughs> Alright, well that was Kermit's pool, what a highlight. 
<laughs> that look of sheer joy on the kids' faces as I was coming down into here. Well, the slide, that and was really fun. It the was look of really terror <laughs> on Mel's face as she stacked it. I mean, the slide coming in was really fun, even for me, but it was super fun. So I'm glad you were there to stop me, to be honest. <laughs> That's the pool down there. Are we just going to hang out here for a couple of hours before we head back to camp? And Mel, I'll even let you still go and have a wine at happy oh, hour. Oh, thank you. I think I deserve it after I came myself. We'll see you back at camp. See you guys. Would you like that drink of wine, darling, that I said you can have despite falling over? I think I deserve it. I'm pretty sore. Like, I'm just my shoulder, my hip, my ankle, my Your leg, <laughs> finger. Oh, let's toe. go. Let's. I think I the cool thing it. about this place is there is a restaurant and a bar, so we're going to go and check that out. We can't afford to uh, have a meal here because they're like 45 bucks a meal. <laughs> and they're very tur <laughs> It's very touristy. Like, the meals, I looked at the menu, it's like crocodile linguine and wallaby pasta. And <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that. But we are going to go and have a beverage. We've left the kids with the radio in the van. They've got, they've been given their devices. They're all absolutely worn out from the day anyway. And got the, a walkie-talkie. Uh, is just there, so. Yeah, well, yeah walkie-talkie, can't speak. Resort's only like 40 meters that way, so we don't feel too bad about it. And yeah, kids, are you gonna behave yourselves? <coughs> See, you heard it here first. <laughs> Judge us on YouTube if you don't like what we've done, but <laughs> one of the things... We never get like time alone together. Well, you know, our kids have finally reached an age where we can trust them to sit in the van and behave for 15 minutes while we go and have a drink at a bar. <laughs> I, I feel good about it. I like reaching this level of um, I'm parenting. I'm nervous, but um, you know, I'm sure I'll get over it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, darling, one well earned <laughs> glass of wine. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Feels like a cheap victory, but I think I'm gonna have it anyway. When are we gonna do a hike where you don't ax yourself? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm waiting for the day. <laughs> I tell you what, this is luxury. Ice, a glass. <laughs> When's the last time I had this? <laughs> I can't tell you, darling. I literally can't remember the last time I drank out of a glass. <laughs> Hashtag van life. <laughs> Kaylee, come in. Are you behaving yourself? Yes, we're all perfectly fine. <laughs> That's not code for come back and rescue me from Owen? <laughs> no, totally not. What's Owen doing? Him being annoying, like usual. <laughs> <laughs> ah, big sister life. You wonder why we want time out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> to five minutes to ourselves. Oh, five minutes to ourselves. We can have an adult conversation. That's it, dear. Our last kid free moment. Back to reality. Back to reality. What are you two doing? <laughs> you two are too clever, hey? <laughs> what have we been doing? Watching Kaylee play some Pokemon? Yeah. yeah, that's all. Oh, you guys. Did you have a really fun day? Yeah. yeah. Would you like some pizza for dinner? Yeah! yeah! So tonight, we're being lazy after such an awesome day exploring. I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of energy for cooking, so we brought a couple of uh, pre-made pizzas and we got some garlic bread. I'm actually really excited for tonight's dinner. So Mel's just said, oh no, my dress! <laughs> after our walk to the... It's uh... red! <laughs> Everything is red. Everything, oh, like the look. floor. Like you wipe it and it comes off bright red. I'm like, we're gonna have to scrub everything in the caravan when we leave this place. Everything is red. I don't know what's worse. This place is red. They should do a new song for it. I'm red. Da ba dee da ba die. Da ba dee da ba die. I mean, it's da -ba just another thing we have to do. Like shoes. Everything is covered in like this red. red. We're gonna chop mine up. 
There's oh, one for you, yummy. honey. Thank you, darling. That's Pizza so nice. for the family. <laughs> Has everybody had a wonderful day? Yeah. It was incredible. It was incredible. Caragini is amazing. We're going to have some dinner. We're going to go to bed. And we've got another day of exploring tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. morning van fam we've got one last hike here to do in Karajini so I thought I would uh, serve everybody up a nice bit of fueling with some pancakes for breakfast this one's called Joffrey Gorge and the best one about this one is we don't even have to drive anywhere we can walk to it straight from camp thanks dear pancakes are delicious. delicious I love them yeah they're so tasty yeah. Live a little, flip the page, give it some more, getting out of my way. I was hiding, bulletproof, forever waiting, then came you. I thought I was what I told I thought I was. I thought I was what I told I thought I was I was picking up the pieces of yesteryear's life and over my head trying to figure out I was going through changes where to begin when a mountain moving revelation came marching in I thought I was what I've been told I thought I was Thought I was what I've been told I thought I was. All right, well, we made it to the Joffrey Waterfalls. As you can see, it's flowing, not so much. <laughs> it would be stunning if it was flowing, but it's not flowing at the moment. The kids are having a great time there, learning to skip, skip stones yes. with some of the other tourists down here. It's pretty cute. It was a good walk. It's very close to camp, so, um, yeah, I suppose if you were camped up at where are we? The, the eco camp. Eco. This is where you would come swimming yeah. every day. Cool down because it's so cool just sitting in the shade here. If uh, it was flowing, I mean you can still swim. People are swimming. I just think it looks it's just a bit. Cold. It looks a bit sketchy. <laughs> well, guys, Brett has taken the kids back to Kermit's Pool for an afternoon swim. I'm going to pass on that after all my injuries yesterday. I really don't want to stress about slipping over it and doing all that again. So I've done a quick tidy of the van. Well, as tidy as you can make it in a small space. And I'm just gonna relax here, not do any more cleaning. Just chill out, maybe have a nap till they get back. <laughs> Should be a nice relaxing mum time. Thanks, honey, love you. Well, good evening, guys. <laughs> we finished Caragini. Mama Bear had a bit of a rest this afternoon. She stayed back at the caravan. I took the two kids down to Kermit's pool again for another bit of a swimming, but we're all absolutely exhausted from all the swimming that we've been doing. So we didn't take the camera, we just had a little bit of time to ourselves and we enjoyed ourselves back at Kermit's pool this afternoon. And tonight I'm cooking a bit of an easy and a new dinner that we've discovered that I really wanted to share with you. It's perfect for caravan life. It's called slow cooked beef brisket. You get it from Woolworths, and that's Woolworths specifically, because we picked up something similar from Coles and it was nowhere near as good. So you want to get that slow cooked beef brisket, it's really easy, I just stick it in the barbecue, the, obviously the instructions are on the packet. You know, we live in a caravan, we don't have access to uh, slow cookers and um, endless amounts of power and things like that, so these sorts of options are amazing and this, this thing is absolutely delicious. We're just going to have that with a bit of mash and a few veggies, we'll cook that up. And I'm pretty excited for this one. Honestly, it's becoming a Sveto family favorite. This is what it looks like all complete. We've got mash, we've got greens, we've got the meat. Let me make that focus better. We've got some carrots. Some for you, my darling. Mm. Some for you, mom. Thank you, darling. I tell you guys, this is an absolutely... I can't speak very well. <laughs> I'm just salivating because I want to get in and eat it. It's an absolutely delicious meal. And uh, we are going to tuck in and we will see you tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for dinner. Yeah. 
Well, good morning, guys. It's Father's Day. I actually forgot. I've <laughs> just told the kids this morning. So, what are we going to do for Daddy? Get, da get, get Daddy, Daddy a, a coffee. coffee. I love Daddy. He's the best. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go and get him a coffee. So, we're going to have a nice, lovely coffee in the morning. Yeah. What did you get for him? I got Daddy a coffee. I got Daddy a muffin. I hope that Daddy will love his delicious muffin. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. I got you a coffee. I, 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 I love you a delicious muffin. Thank you for what my birthday? No, Father's Day. Father's I said Father's Day. Day. Oh, you kids are the best. Yeah. You're the Breakfast best of champions, dad. Hey? You're the best dad ever. Oh, thanks, mate. Thank you. Real coffee. That's spoiled awesome, all right? This day was not going to turn out as planned. Our first hiccup occurs just four kilometers out of camp as we leave the dirt and attempt to air up our tyres. So we're just putting the, went to put the tyres up after putting them down and it looks like our air pressure hose is broken, is that right? Yep. Not sure how to fix that, we're trying to do a dodgy job so at least we can put the tyres back up but just another thing to fix. Well, that was a bit of excitement for the day. We had some other caravanners stop and help us pump up our tyres. We did kind of a dodgy fix on our air hose, but it's really short now. So we couldn't really reach the back tyres. So thankfully they stopped and helped us. That's what caravanning life is about, helping each other out. So we're back on the road, back to our next destination. Now, our original plan was to take Karajini Drive, stop in at Fernpool for a dip before hitting the Great Northern Highway and swinging back into one of the best free camps we've ever experienced at Albert Tognolini for our work week. But it was about here that we hit the next hiccup. I have just found out that there's been a major accident up the road up here. We have no idea how long the road is going to be closed for the Marines. We're on plan F. We've got to change plans again. So with no idea when the road would reopen, we decided we would have to take the 100 plus kilometres of unsealed road around Karajini and check out the camp opposite Hammersley Gorge. But it was about here where the final hiccup occurs. They do say bad things come in threes, right? That dude was absolutely hammering past us. And now we have a nice old window trip. Windscreen. What a bloody day, Mel. God damn it. It's not, been the, it's not been the greatest, but we're just making the best of it, to be honest. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Truck Driver. Well, today did not go to plan. We ended up having to take an alternate route around Karajini, which meant we had to do 100 k's of unsealed road. And you see the result is a lovely cracked windscreen. Yes, it is. But look at the view. This place is beautiful. Oh uh, yes, this spot is stunning. Everywhere I look, if you look around, everywhere I look, it's absolutely beautiful. This place is called Buddha's Overnighter, and it's opposite the Hemmersley Gorge. Um, turn off into Hammersley Gorge. Well, yeah, it's like a 6k drive into Hammersley yeah. Gorge. So we've already been in for a swim this afternoon. Obviously didn't take you guys with us because we've already been here in our travels. But um, yeah, this is good. The flies are friendly, but they're nowhere near as bad as that uh, overnight rest yeah. area that we were at. <laughs> that we were last they're time. only about a, th a third is as bad as there. And there's even reception here, which is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's not great, but yeah, there's a little bit of reception. We're still running Starlink because it's a lot better than the reception that's here. But yeah, this place is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna send the drone up so that you guys can see it from the air. We might get a fire going as well.
sun is setting on another beautiful day and another beautiful camp in the Pilbara. Kids have found some rubbish over there. They've been creating something. What, what are you making over there, kids? The tent of glory. And the tent of glory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Sunday, guys, so we're going to wrap up this week's vlog here. Another work. Oh, well, the kids have already finished their school week, school work. So. Yeah, well, kids are on school holidays, and so we finish a week early doing distance education, which is really nice, but Mel's still got to work. <laughs> I've still got to work. So we'll wrap up the vlog here, guys. We'll see you on our next adventure. Thanks so much for Don't watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> she's got she doesn't just have shoes, she's got four-wheel drive shoes. <laughs> she's got the lockers in there really. Yeah. Also just noticed this on the back of the caravan. Bob Woody's lost an arm. Have to do some surgery, maybe take him off there, I don't know. Poor guy. Mm -hmm.